morning to you all. Thank you for joining us on today's live service. We come to you from the Yada Hotel on a strictly online service led by the anointed servant of God, Prophet W. Magaya. Thank you so much once again, wherever you may be joining us, for joining us on this perfect Sunday morning. Because of his amazing and abundant love, we have seen and witnessed yet another Sunday service, which is filled with breakthroughs, testimonies, deliverance, all because of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is using the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya. Remember, because of his amazing love, Jesus Christ came on earth such that we may be saved, that we may be saved from the different afflictions that the devil has placed in our lives. So all that sorrow, pain, and suffering that the evil one has placed in your lives, because of Jesus Christ, we shall be saved all for the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya, is only but a servant that Jesus Christ is using today to make sure that you receive that which you desire in your innermost. Is it healing that you desire? Is it deliverance that you desire? Is it a financial breakthrough that you need? Is it career breakthrough? Or is it in your education that you need deliverance? Today, open your heart in faith and belief, knowing that Prophet W. Magaya was sent by Jesus Christ to make sure that you receive all this, all for the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Before we begin, we remind you to take part in the visions of the man of God. We have four very important departments which were created by the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya, for your benefit. To begin, we have the Men with Power, a department for men. If you are a man all over the world, wherever you are, you are encouraged to partake in the department of Men with Power. We also have a department of Women of Valor, a department that was created by the Men of God to benefit you as a married woman. We encourage you to partake in this department as well, as there is a lot in store for you. And for the youth all over the world, we have the Youth of Innovation, a department also created by the men of God to benefit you wherever you may be today. There is also for the little ones, the Endless Opportunities team, created also by the men of God, Prophet W. Magaya. You cannot have one, you cannot be found wanting. You cannot not be a part of these four departments. We encourage you to inquire and to find out how to join the Women of Valor, the Men with Power, Youth of Innovation, and the Endless Opportunities team. We also encourage you to continuously partner in the work of the Lord. Remember, your partnership is benefiting thousands and thousands all over the world in different ways. Once again, wherever you may be joining us from, be it South Africa, Mozambique, Botswana, China, the United Kingdom, Portugal, Spain, France, Ethiopia, Brazil, and many other nations that we cannot name at this moment, we encourage you to open your heart and believe that Prophet W. Magaya shall be used today to benefit your life, that of your friends, your company, or whoever it is that you are connected to because of the anointing that is upon him. Yes, distance is not a barrier proven by time. And now we take a look at some of the testimonies that are coming up from across the globe. As we read out these testimonies to you, we encourage you to open your heart in faith and to believe that if God has done it for others, he can also do it for you. And for those of you who have those several testimonies across the globe, we encourage you to send through your testimonies, the reason being to render the devil weak and to bring glory and honor unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who, remember, is a specialist of impossibilities, a God who never runs out of solutions, a God who is ready to impact your life in ways that no one can imagine. What can he not do? We give glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, as we read out these testimonies, be connected, meditate on your own situation, and believe that Today is your day in Jesus' name. Our first testimony comes from Soanelo Moyo. He is popularly known as Our Moses. 
and he is from South Africa and a proud youth of innovation. Yes, this is his second testimony. We give glory to the God of our father, Prophet W. Magaya, who said, 2021 is the year of realignment for recovery. Because this is a second testimony, surely this is proving that recovery is happening in his life. His testimony reads, I am a content creator of funny videos online. My testimony started after I followed a teaching by my father, Prophet W. Magaya. He taught us that we should start by starting and always check every day if we are multiplying for success or not. I then decided to join YouTube about four months ago and ever since then I have been posting my videos there. So initially when I started YouTube I had zero subscribers, that is the followers. But as time went on, as I continued posting on my YouTube channel and being consistent with prayers via Yada TV, I started getting my subscribers on my channel. People started subscribing on my YouTube channel with a supernatural speed. Remember, this was also a declaration made by our father, Prophet W. Magaya, that I did not understand. I started getting many views that matched or even passed other people that had more, than, more subscribers than I did. I started getting more views than some of the popular musicians in my country. Remember, this is somebody who is in South Africa. So when he says popular musicians in my country, we all know the followers that they may have and the views that they may have as well. My videos would reach over 500,000 views in just two months two months with only a few subscribers. So, four months later, here I am sitting on 100,000 subscribers in just a space of four months, which honestly is unbelievable. This happened only because of the anointing that is upon my father, Prophet W. Gaia. I even got an award from YouTube that was sent from the United States of America for achieving 100,000 subscribers in just four months. When the man of God teaches us something, just follow his instructions and surely your life will change for good. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, this is a content creator who created a YouTube channel and in just a space of four months, he's already receiving awards from the United States of America where there is the YouTube um, channel where they are located. And he's here giving glory to the God of our father, Prophet W. Magaya, for the teachings and for the declarations that he gave. Let us take a look at our screens as we see our Moses with his awards. The first picture, he's sitting with his award the following picture is a picture of the award that he received as well as the third picture. Let us give glory to the God of our father, Prophet W. Magaya, our savior, Jesus Christ, is using the man of God to make sure that your deepest desires are met all for the glory of our Lord and savior. Amen. The second testimony is from a Farai Callisto from the United Kingdom. Indeed, distance is not a barrier. This is yet another international testimony. In his own words, he writes, I'd like to thank the God of Prophet W. Magaya for what he has done in my life. I had an opportunity to have a Zoom prayer meeting with the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya, last month. I had a lot of prayer requests for my three-year-old son who was struggling with a problem of difficulty in urinating. He also had eczema on his face and he had a delayed speech. He could be emotional over small things and started breaking his toys and things around him. My son could not drink water and I was very worried because I was seeing how the devil was attacking my son and I. I then had the opportunity to tell the man of God all my prayer requests and he prayed for me and exactly in his own words he said, in two days, I will start to see changes. Within two days, I will start seeing changes. Brethren, when a man of God speaks, the wise listens. He says that that very same night, after the prayer from the man of God via the Zoom meeting, my son woke me up midnight asking to go to the toilet, which had never happened before. As the man of God had said, 
within two days, we had already started to see changes on my son. The eczema that he had, he had, had started to dry off. Now my son can drink water and his speech is better. Men of God, my son is doing so much better. And this is all because of your prayers. I give all the glory and honor to the God of Prophet W. Magaya. Yes, indeed, the God of our father, Prophet W. Magaya, is an omnipresent God. We cannot emphasize this enough for you. But distance is not a barrier. You only need faith as small as a mustard seed to be, a, to be connected to such an anointing. Amen. And yet another powerful international testimony coming from Pastor Mojela, who is from South Africa. He would like to thank the God of Prophet W. Magaya for the continuous testimonies that have been flowing in his life. Specifically, the first testimony. I came to the guest house and you prophesied that all who attended the guest house services would come with a powerful and mighty testimony. My testimony is that I managed to buy my wife a brand new car, which I have been promising her for the past four years without success. My second testimony is that at my company, I have been awarded a six months tender to guard a factory. I am now an employer who employs people beyond my race. The same company has also promised to offer me more tenders, and this can only be because of the anointing that came via the guest house. The third testimony is that I was approached by a very big telecommunication company in South Africa for a partnership to supply and install fiber equipment for the men of God. Big tenders and partnership are coming my way after visiting your guest house, and I cannot be thankful enough to your God. Surely, this is a year of realignment for recovery. Glory be to the God of Prophet W. Magaya, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And now we take a look at the picture of the beautiful car that he managed to buy for his car after four years of no success. Yes, the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya, availed a powerful guest house for us. Wherever you are, you can be part of the guest house and watch what God will do in your life. We have a powerful powerful guest house visit coming up on the 16th of July 2021 where the man of God is going to be availing a new anointing a new altar where your life can never be the same again by just stepping there be part of that guest house visit and partake on the powerful new anointing carried by the man of God prophet W Magaya Remember, he is only but a servant that Jesus Christ is using today to make sure that you receive that which you desire and you are completely saved. So this new altar is obviously a vision that the man of God was inspired by the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. The fourth testimony is from Tombi Zodwa Saoramba, who is from Durban, South Africa. She writes... I just want to share some of my testimonies. My family was broken apart since 2018, but when things got worse, I then decided to send a prayer request to the man of God to pray for my situation. I faced tough times when the devil tore apart my family, but from the day that the man of God prayed for me, my family has been restored and we are now united. We thank God for availing the prayer lines to us where we can communicate with the men of God wherever we are, whatever time of the day, in Jesus' name. When the men of God came to Durban this year, remember the men of God had a South Africa guest house visit where he moved from Gauteng, then he went to Durban, and then Cape Town. So she's saying, when the men of God came to Durban this year, I managed to go with my two daughters for a one-on-one -on -one deliverance. We were so excited that God was going to do something because for more than four years, we did not have a car. After the men of God delivered us, we managed to buy our very first car, and now that car is generating more income for us. God of Prophet W. Magaya, you are wonderful. Amen. Let us take a look at our screens to see that the car that they managed to buy after the guest house visit in Durban. 
you are reminded distance is not a barrier. All this is happening wherever you are. God is able to touch your life in a way that you cannot imagine. He's able to transform your situation. He's a God who moves us from grass to grace, who makes the poor become rich, the sick to be healed. That is the purpose of the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya, right now, to make sure that Jesus Christ touches your life. Remember, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That which he previously has done, he can continuously do that as well. Be connected in Jesus' mighty name. And remember, as we continue to read out these powerful testimonies, it can be your time as well to testify in Jesus' name. all over the world. Shalom, and we welcome you once again to today's live Sunday service with the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya. Indeed, today is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and give all the praise and honor to the God of our Father, the God of Prophet W. Magaya, for what he has done in our lives and what he continues to do for us in Jesus' mighty name. As we continue to read out the different testimonies that have come out from different parts of the world, we are believing that you are connected in faith in full confidence that it is your time to testify in Jesus' name. Whatever situation that you may be going through, we know that it is nothing before the God of our Father, and he's able to deliver you to your most desired place. Is it a place of healing? Is it a place of deliverance? Is it a place of prophecy? Whatever it is you desire, the God of our Father is able to do it for you today in Jesus' mighty name. Our next testimony comes from Mrs. Mavis Mwareka, who is a Zimbabwean but is based in Namibia. Mrs. Mavis says, Prophet, every day I make use of the anointed mentors, and I would like to thank you for availing them to us, your children. She explains and says, Before I started using the anointed mentors, men of God, I would feel sharp pain all over my body, and it would cause my body to have weakness. She says that she would experience blank memories and she would always feel like vomiting. In addition to all of this, she says that her voice was held back because of the pain that she was feeling and she felt a painful pressure on her heart and chest. She said she suffered from severe attacks of this nature and would wake up with terrible dreams and she would feel a sharp pain in her heart. She said she had a lot of confusion in her mind, and she even began to suffer in a prayer life because of what she was going through. This was up until she started using the anointed mentors that have been availed to us to the glory of God by, by our father, Prophet W. Magaya. She says, ever since I began using the anointed mentors, men of God, I am no longer suffering from any afflictions of the devil. She says, Prophet, your God saved me. The sharp pains that were troubling me are no more. All the severe attacks that I was going through are no more, men of God. Thank you, Prophet W. Magaya. Your Lord Jesus Christ is doing great work in my life. Glory be to Jesus. And we'd also like to encourage you viewers all over the world, no matter where you may be, we encourage you to make use of your anointed mentors as well. If you do not have anointed mentors at this time, we encourage you to get in touch with the prayer line numbers that have been availed to us by the men of God for more information on how these can be availed to you from wherever you are in Jesus' mighty name. We know that our God is able to deliver us through any medium, moreover a medium that is highly anointed in Jesus' mighty name. Our next testimony comes from Beauty Mpofu, who is a youth of innovation from Bulawayo Satellite. 
She would like to thank the God of Prophet W. Magaya for the grace that she has seen working in her life in Jesus' name. She says, men of God, for two whole years, I was struggling to get a job. But all of that changed on a Sunday service on the 7th of February in this year of 2021. She says, men of God, you gave us a prophetic word and you said that we should claim our five days in the coming week. Men of God, I took this word personally. I took it as though you were talking to me directly. I declared and I claimed these five days, men of God, and I submitted my CV at a shop that I wanted a job from. She says, on the fifth day, I received a call for an interview from this place where I had dropped off my CV. She says, men of God, I got the job. What shocks me the most, men of God, is that I do not even qualify for the position that they gave me, but I was selected for this post. She says that I am 100% sure that my life will always be full of unexpected testimonies and undeserved testimonies because of the anointing that is upon you, men of God. I give all the glory to your God in Jesus' mighty name. And we are confident as well that the God of our Father is a God of favor. As our Father, Prophet Magaya, always says, favor is not fair. And it is this God who is able to separate us from the rest. And opportunities come to us because of this mighty anointing that is upon the men of God in Jesus' name. Our next testimony comes from Gogo Esina from Kadoma. I want to share this testimony about what the God of Prophet W. Magaya miraculously did for me. Our Father always teaches us that we must start by starting. And this is exactly what I adhered to. I started a poultry project, men of God, and I did not even have enough money. But the moment that I began to start, that I started the project, men of God, someone who owed me money and had owed me money for a very long time immediately just came with my money from nowhere. And I used this to add on to my project. Gogoya Sina says that every day she would pray and anoint her chicken runs using the water of life and she would declare that the God of Prophet W. Magaya is in control of her project in Jesus' name. Men of God, my chickens grew very fast without using any supplements at all. I know that it can only be your anointing that made this possible. I even got a customer who buys all my chickens on a regular, and this has made my, finan my financial life very stable. I want to thank the man of God for his teachings. And I want to thank you for continuing to teach us, men of God. We are always ready to learn. Let there be light. Glory be to Jesus Christ. According to the word in John 10, verse 10, the enemy did come to steal, kill, and to destroy. But we know that the God of Prophet W. Magaya came that we may have life and life abundantly. As we have seen from the different testimonies that we have read out, our God is able to lift us to the highest of levels through the anointing that is upon the men of God in Jesus' name. We encourage you, therefore, as you are at home, as the men of God always says, distance is not a barrier. What is it that you desire today? Be, is it your business? Is it restoration that you need upon your marital life? Just to remind you viewers all over the world, this is a year of realignment for recovery. That word that has been declared by our Father in the Lord, Prophet W. Magaya, is true and it is living. And we have witnessed this through the different testimonies that have come to light today in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Taking this opportunity to encourage you as well, if you have your testimony, let us bring glory to this God of Prophet W. Magaya. Let us honor him through praising him through the testimonies that we receive in Jesus' name. We encourage you to take advantage of the prayer line numbers that have been given to us by the men of God to send through your testimonies to the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. As we continue on with the service, we encourage you to stay connected, to open your heart in faith, knowing that there is no better to time to testify than now in Jesus' mighty name.
in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. May God increase you in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, I am in Zimbabwe and I want to appreciate God who has given us this opportunity. May God bless you. I arrived yesterday. May God increase you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Um, um, Mama Gaya is still in Scorn. Um, if you, yeah, she's still there. Um, and to such a time that they, they release her. Myself, I, I, I came yesterday. May God bless you. Um, it was um, after a, it was after a serious heartfelt uh, send off, a serious heartfelt send off uh, in the mausoleum, which was placed near the church at a at an area which is called um, the Mercy Land. That's where the mausoleum was placed. So yeah, we appreciate God we are here and we hope to connect and speak and share the word of the Lord and I'm expecting that his power may be revealed in your life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Wherever you're watching us from, I would request you to stand and um, enjoy the presence of the Lord. Let us stand in the presence of God. As you are standing, I just want you to to start to pray uh, with me. Um, yeah, start to pray with me so that uh, the anointing of today will start to flow in our life. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father, I thank you. 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 Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for those that are watching this hour i thank you lord for those that are connected i thank you lord for a new life i thank you lord for a new blessing i thank you lord i thank you lord i thank you lord father i thank you i thank you lord i thank you lord i thank you lord I thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you, God. We glorify your name. We glorify your name. We glorify your name. We glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, for this connection. Whoever is watching, Lord, whoever is watching right now, whoever is watching right now, whoever is watching right now, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. May your touch, may your spirit, Lord, may your spirit, may your touch start to touch your people. Wherever they are watching us from, Lord, wherever they are watching us from, Lord, I thank you, I thank you, I glorify your name, I glorify your name. Today is your day as you are watching me live today. Today is your day as you are hearing me live today. Today is your day. Today is your day. May the anointing of today touch your life, transform your life, change your life. May the anointing of today touch your life, change your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, today is your day. 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 We pray. 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 That you may continue to be blessed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is your day. Today is your day. Today is your day. May the spirit of the living God be with you. May the anointing of today be with you. 
every challenge, every situation, whatever pain that you are feeling, may you be healed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is your day. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. We pray amen and amen. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. You may sit in the presence of God. When I arrived um, yesterday, I saw a lot of prayer requests in our call center lines, which um, we are entirely um, attending to. For example, um, a prayer request from Innocent Morima, who says, my headache and I can't see properly. If you're watching me live right now, in very few minutes, I want you to touch your screen and I want to hear your testimony. Just very few minutes. Continuous coughing and can't sleep at night. Alfred Makaki. Continuous uh, coughing and can't sleep at night. Alfred Makaki. You see, I'm, I'm very much concerned and... From the past months, you know that I've been praying over the issue of covering because the devil is taking advantage of distance in a mighty way and is um, distracting or stealing our people in a way. Um, untimed death happening, losing important people that are close to us um, just happened in, in, in Botswana. It also happened in South Africa. Um, some very important uh, partners because of the issue of distance. Uh, so I'm trying now to make sure that I increase the virtual meetings um, that are there so that uh, we try and minimize um, the issue of the gap uh, that is there. You, you know very much that in the past years we were kicking the devil and he's trying to kick us back. So I want you to be connected and to be very much connected with the anointing. I've, I've just read two um, prayer request uh, from Innocent Morima and um, Alfred Makaki. Um, I don't know if you've got any prayer request that you have right now. Uh, before I start to preach or teach, um, is it corona? What is it? Is it a disease? Uh, send it right now. Is it either on Facebook or on the, on the phones. Can I have my phones? Can I have the prayer line phones, all of them? Can I have the prayer line phones? No, it's okay. You may keep me alive. It's fine. Um, can I have the prayer line phones, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, All right. Um, I'm holding all the lines with me right now. And um, it's, it's just um, a prayer that I want to do uh, for you, uh, looking at any situation that you may be in. Um, so this, um, I'm watching, um, okay, men of God, I'm watching live service. I'm, I'm looking for a job. I came to Dubai two weeks ago, searching a job. Please pray for me. Uh, this is hope. Um, hope. Uh, this is hope. Um, saying I came to Dubai. Please pray for me. I, I'm reading your message, Hope, there. 
Um, may God bless you. Um, hope my back. It's hope my back. Um, okay. So as you are sending your prayer request, um, take note. I'm reading them personally. And I want you to receive your testimony. Every phone that is in front of me right now, um, I'm, 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 I'm expecting some miracles to start to happen. Um, right, this is from Facebook, right? Matali vomiting and not eating. Patricia Chimwimba, uh, stagnant of life, shine length, back pain, Chipochipango promotion at work, Cleo, this is on YouTube, uh, Cleo Yada, or oh, Toothache, okay, this is not YouTube, it's Cleo Yada, Toothache. Um, these are messages that are coming through our Facebook page, wherever you're watching me from right now. I want you to see the hand of the Lord in your life, and I know you're very much aware that God moves in a mighty way, and is not going to be limited by anything. Although it's a phone, but I know you're going to see the hand of the Lord. And I want you to be ready to receive that anointing wherever you're watching us from. You know, wherever you're watching us, wherever you're watching us from. Uh, the anointing of the Lord, the anointing of the Lord must trans transform your life and everything must change. So my focus right now is to pray for you and to make sure that everything changes. Because you are sending now thousands of prayer requests are in our phones. Thou thousands of prayer requests are in our phones right now. Yes, they are coming in. 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 We are seeing all prayer requests. They are coming in. May God bless you. We are seeing it. We are seeing it. We are seeing it. Yes, we are seeing it. We are seeing it. They are coming in. Mm -hmm. This one is saying, woman of God, we don't agree at home at all. At all, we are in a fight. Who is from Botswana? I cover the things, you man of God. I, uh, I missed my period of pain for two years. Now it's Tsi Botolo. He's from Botswana. Uh, just to show you that we are, we are there. Um, I have ulcers. So painful. Can't eat. You, you didn't put your name, but at least I'm reading it. Um, cover the things, my, my man of God. Uh, I have a problem with headache and eye problems and also uh, business breakthrough. Uh, business breakthrough. Someone was speaking about COVID somewhere. Uh, my house is finished to this month. My husband to be healed from fractured leg. I've got COVID. I'm seeing such prior request of COVID here. Uh, people who are sending such prior request. Prior request, prophet, my eyesight is fading away. I've disease, hereditary disease. I'm 59 years old. I'm a lady. Um, pray for Muzukuru Angu and delayed speech. is three and a half years old now, but I said, I'm going to go to Tower. I'm going to go to Tower. I'm going to go Thank you. My name is Leonard John, 25 years. I stay in South Africa and I apply for a job. Coca Cola, so breakthrough spirit and delay. I've got a child. I got a child who seems mentally disturbed. Okay, who seems mentally disturbed? Uh, I'm from Chinoy. Prior request in Dinia. I've got my relatives with the name is Chiedza. Uh, whose name is Chiedza. Um, they've got symptoms of COVID. I want them to be healed. Cover the greetings, man of God. My name is Bong Yelengo Lutle from Blaya. My prayer request. I'm having ch uh, chest pains, and it's three days. I'm not feeling well at all, at all, and I'm losing energy. My name is Nomsa Masaya, connected from South Africa and Pretoria. That please pray for me. I've been having continually flu from April till now. Continuous flu from April till now. Oh, messages are coming. Um, some of the phones are too busy that is difficult even to then able to to read on those messages. No, I, I just want to share with you th uh, three little videos just to raise your faith, just to raise your faith before I pray. I want you to take note that God has moved before in our life. Uh, God has moved before in our life. I just want to show you three very small videos. Um, 
maybe when you saw, see these videos, when I start to pray with you, your faith is lifted. Let's watch those videos. IT. One must be delivered to One must be delivered to enjoy the freedom. Let me tell you about deliverance. Let me tell you about healing. You can never act delivered. If you are delivered, you are delivered. When I come to you to church like this, I come carrying your work, your million, carrying your breakthroughs. When deliverance come to you, you must feel the power, power of the living God. You have been taken out of a cage. And you must feel that your shoulders are free. You have been taken out from oppression. You have been released from a life of being oppressed. Being positioned to a life of dominion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power that changes life. The power that heals. The power that brings marriage to the unmerits. Power of the living God. It breaks the yoke of the devil. When do you want your freedom? Warning. Viewer's discretion is advised with pus oozing out from his face, eyes, and ears. Josephet Mwenge, 24 years old, arrived at the Arena of Liberty, where Prophet W. Magaya prayed for him and gave him a towel. Watch closely as he struggles to say, Thank you, Jesus, I'm free with no word coming out. Glory to the God of Prophet W. Magaya. Barely a month later, after having been prayed for by the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya, Josvet is totally healed from a rough and cracked skin to a new baby soft skin. Now, Josvet can share his testimony with no struggle. Tau re glory and rigu geze saku bam siyo yo. Dana mati wana na prophet. Nagaita one week. Ndicho na change ma fufu achidona. Achidona ma fufu. Ndakanga nisinga gone kumuga. Ndisinga oni mushe. Ndishingo na zuripa pano no papa. Pati na prophet zvakashia basa. Kudarika zupatara. Remember, he could not walk, but now he is running. Go on and spray this. You'll see what will happen. We want our testimony. May you testify in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you lost all your years must come back in Jesus mighty name. We we show you those small clips to encourage your faith. To show you at some instant I used a towel, at some instant I used my hand, but there was a mighty movement of the spirit. Now I'm requesting to you that today I want you to send your message like what you are doing, messages that like what you are doing, and we are going to make sure that you testify. That is what we want to do. We want to make sure that you testify the goodness and the greatness of God. So wherever you are watching us from, if you have sent your message, I'm seeing right now, even through YouTube, there's Rumbizai, Jaona, Coffin, um, Financial Breakthrough, uh, from Terry, Max, Les, Les, Les Bolo, looking for a job, uh, Azine Zulu, back pain and skin disease. Rosa Pareaiwa, painful leg. Um, people are sending different prayer requests. Most of our prayer requests are not on our Facebook or YouTube. They are on our phones right now. Hundreds and hundreds of them which are coming through on our phones. Um, yeah? And people who are requesting for the hand of the Lord. That's what we're expecting. On Friday, we are releasing a mighty testimony. We are releasing a mighty anointing. 
How is it mighty than anything else? It is because of the revelation that God has given me. On Friday, we are releasing what you call a walk through all time, where people who walk through it to be healed, to be delivered. That's what we're expecting. And this must happen in seconds. That's what we're expecting. But today, before we go to Friday, we have got some prayer requests in our face. And the prayer requests are different, and they are on our phones. Right now, I want you to stand. Wherever you are watching me from, I want you to stand. Wherever you're watching me from, I want you to stand. And as you stand, you are standing believing that surely our prayer, your prayer and my prayer, right now as you stand, our prayer and your prayer as you are standing right now, things will start to change. Let's pray. Father, I come in the name of our Lord Jesus. Whoever has sent a prayer request this hour, Lord, whoever has sent a prayer request this hour, Lord, whoever has sent a prayer request this hour, Lord, whoever is requesting for your touch, I assign angels of healing right now. 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 I speak healing. 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 I speak healing right now. I speak healing. I speak healing right now. I assign angels of healing right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I speak healing right now in Jesus' mighty name. May it happen. May it happen as I'm speaking right now. As I am speaking right now. May it happen. May it happen. May it happen. May it happen. May it happen as I'm speaking right now, Lord. Every healing that they are requesting, whatever they want God to do for them, I speak healing right now in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen and amen. Wherever you're watching me from, I want you to stand and start to test what pain you were you feeling, what was happening in your life. Start to believe in the Lord. Move around your house. Send us the testimony. Send us the testimony. Send us the testimony. May God bless you. You are free and you are healed. Send us the testimony. Send us the testimony. Tell us what God has done. Tell us what God has done. Please collect these phones. I want you to look for all the testimonies. Tell us what God has done. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the giving line. Thank you. This is the giving line. This one may remain here. I want to thank the Lord over those that are giving very soon. Uh, so please tell us, tell us all the testimonies and the things that are happening in our life. After this prayer, tell us what God has done. Were you, able, were, you able, were you not able to walk? You must test. Move around. Move around. Test your back. Test your arms. Test your neck. Whatever you felt that was not okay, if your child was not going to tell it, what is your child saying? If your child was not speaking, speak back to your child. If your neck was not moving, move your neck right now and believe in the anointing and the grace of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name, wherever you're watching us from. God bless you. Them. As we are doing that, um, we want to appreciate God. May God bless you wherever you're watching us from. You are live today, and I'm beaming from Ayada Hotel office. I came yesterday. Uh, I, I arrived yesterday, yes. Mama Gaia is still at Skowan. That's where she is. Um, um, she's celebrating the Thanksgiving Sunday today, but I had to come because we are preparing for Friday. We are preparing for Friday. You may sit in the presence of God. And in that same spirit, we want you to, um, we want you to, uh, to give. Let's have our altar offering as my RT is compiling all the testimonies. Let's have our altar offering. 
let's say, auto offer. There are numbers that are appearing on your screen, which you may use to do the giving. Um, yeah? And uh, when you do the giving, please send us the evidence of your giving. It is that capacity that you give to the ministry which enables us to spread the word. And you, as a partner, you as a child, you have a task, you have a job to do something over the kingdom of the Lord. In this case, it's giving. When you give unto the kingdom of the Lord, it enables us, it empowers us, it gives us power to pay for internet, to pay for the TV, which then gives us uh, that mileage that movement which allows us to spread the word all the four corners of the world. So yeah, I appreciate you. I thank you. And uh, this is the uh, Botswana account. Thank you, Botswana partners. And thank you, men with power, even for attending to the situations that we are facing at this moment. May God bless you. So the Africa account there appearing on your, on your screen. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. It's a Monzo account in the name of Mama Gaia, which is uh, being used in UK, which gives us an access very quickly. May God bless you. Let me pray over your altar offering. Father, I thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you over this giving, Lord. I thank you over this giving, Lord, that is happening right now. I appreciate you, Lord, over this giving. I appreciate you, Lord, after, over this giving. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, over this giving. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name. We pray amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, the numbers that are appearing on the screen, there are numbers for, for giving. May God bless you. We are now starting to receive um, um, testimonies that are coming in. I, I, will, ju I will read three for now. Uh, there's Mutawashe from Zambia who says um, period pain is gone fully. Um, please bring the phones if there is any. Um, okay. My, my, my father, pray for me. I've got a terrible headache. I'm not seeing properly or even turn my head. Baba, I'm able to open my eyes and turn my neck. Innocent Murema Blawai. The same person who gave that prayer request is saying I'm now able to turn my head and see properly. This is Innocent Murema from Blawai. May God bless you, brother. Innocent Dini. My Chikoto from Chitungu Zanyatsime. Pray for the all the health money my standing in the main mind. Thank you, Lord. My back is better now. So throat vanished. Um, right? Refili we Anna Masaya, Facebook, what I was feeling on my throat is no longer there. So we are seeing people um, who are saying, Men of God, things are now, uh, things have changed. Um, right, we, 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 we appreciate God. We appreciate God. We appreciate God. So, yeah, my IT team will continue to compile the testimonies, please. Um, there are too many uh, I can't read and cope with the speed. So look at the testimonies and try and summarize them as quickly as possible. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Thank you for, for, for sharing the, the testimonies and please continue to compile them and send to us. Right, thank you for following live. We are back to the preaching of the word and teaching of the word. First of all, the first announcement that is there is of today, I'm going to hold my first private lesson with those um, that are in mentorship class. 
and the first private lesson is happening at um, um, 7 o'clock today. And it's happening on a, a private Facebook that we opened specifically for those that are in mentorship class. So if you're in a mentorship class and you have not yet received this handle, um, please make sure that maybe our, our course is going to be busy today, uh, clarifying and making sure that everyone in mentorship class receives the handle uh, beforehand. So at 7 o'clock, we are going to be having um, um, a private lecture uh, mainly over the issue of mentorship, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m., right? May God bless you. Um, I want to announce and say, yes, Mama Gaya is two and so on, but I'm here, and I'm here in preparation of the new altar, uh, which the new altar is going to be availed from the 16th. Just want to explain and teach about how does an altar work, how does an altar work, so that today you may understand. That's the purpose of teaching today. I want to teach about how does an altar work. What is an altar? How does it work? That's what I want to clarify, so that people who have got a lot of questions can be answered uh, on how does an altar work. In short, an altar is a position. An altar is a position. That's what I want you to take note of. An altar is a position that is assigned or represents a certain spirit. In this case, we are representing the spirit of the Lord, the anointing of the Lord. Why do I use a word, a certain spirit? Because altars are not all good. They are altars which carry do bad spirit, which have or spreads a wrong anointing. That's why you see, if you read the book of Judges, you see an encounter and many counters of the destruction of different altars that were constructed. The biggest altar to be constructed, which was the most powerful altar, which remains the most powerful altar, is the cross. The cross of the living God is the biggest altar. Our altars are in significance, are in agreement with the biggest altar, which is the altar of the Lord. We are taking the power and simplifying it so that we have what access to the biggest altar. Remember, altars are different. But in this case, we are unveiling an altar that gives you a path. A path of prayer. A path of meditating. A path of reading. A path of thinking. In, this, in, in the same manner as you are reading, thinking, and meditating, I want you to be connected to your healing. Connected to your salvation connected to your redemption. So what we are bringing forth to you, one asked me a question saying, what is the difference between the prayer mountain altar, the holy ground, the church altar? I said, this is more powerful. How is it more powerful? It is because of the revelation that has been given to me, which I'm following, which resembles the power of the Lord. The deeper the revelation, the deeper the power of the Lord. So in this case of this altar, we are expecting mighty things, greater things than that has happened before. Hence, we bring this altar to you. So we are expecting great things to be happening through this altar. Hence, we bring it to you from this uh, coming Friday. One would ask me a question and say, Men of God, can I just walk into the hotel and access the altar? Not at this moment. We are trying by all means to make sure that we follow the regulations of the nation where we cannot gather in numbers. So we are giving an opportunity to those that will be in, in the other hotel for now. Up and until such a time, the regulations ease up. But for now, 
those that are at the other hotel are the ones that are going to be given the access because there are numbers that we can control there are people that we can manage we are not a church we are at the other hotel what about the hygiene man of god cleanliness is next to god you cannot say you are clean you are next to god whilst you are dirty we are aware of the cleanliness that is required we are following the revelation and aware of the pandemic and the everything that may be there we are not coming here to spread any disease, but we are here to spread an anointing. I want you to take note of this. We are here to spread an anointing, and we are very wise, very, very wise about it. Very much inspired, more than what you think. What you saw on the small clips of the altar, it's not what is going to be happening. It's going to be happening in a mighty way. A lot of things are going to be happening in a mighty way. We only showed you a snap of it. The bigger picture was not shown yet, for it's not our way of showing you everything that is hidden even in the spirit. So when you come and you enter, you then say, okay, the world saw this, but on my personal encounter, I saw this and I felt this. There is a lot of differences that will be felt through what people saw on TV and what they will feel in person. So I'm coming to you and I'm saying, here is a new altar. I want to read from the book of Mark and show you that an altar is a place. It is a location. It is a position that God can use anything to do his ways. And he says, do this. Or mightier than what I have done. Greater than what I have done. There's a great incident that happened with a man who was a leader of the synagogue who said to himself, my daughter is sick, but I want to bring this mighty altar to my house. Take note of this. The man said, I want to bring this mighty altar to my house. He was expecting to bring Jesus to his house so that he can heal. It's a way. It's another way. But on the way, on the way, there is a woman who created a personal altar on Jesus. With that revelation, I want you to look at this. Chapter 5 of the book of Mark from verse 21. From verse 21. What does he say? Now when Jesus had crossed over again by the boat to the other side, a great multitude gathered to him and he was by the sea. And behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue came Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell on his feet. And begged him earnestly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your, your hands on her, that he may be healed, and she will live. So Jesus went with him. A great mouth should follow him and thronged him. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for twelve years. And she had suffered many things from many physicians. And she had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. I'm, I'm, I'm looking and saying to, to myself, people are looking for a better way, for a better life, for a better advantage on business. But if you look with the attacks of the world, some are growing worse in bondage than getting free. Lord, where can I position you? That if my child, if anyone who believes in the anointing, if anyone who is anointed, where can I position you, Lord? Where can I position your power? Where can I position your power? That whoever has been suffering for 12 years, whoever has been suffering for 5 years, those that cannot see, those that cannot walk, where can I position you, Lord? This was my prayer for years. Where can I position you? That even in my absence, where I am not there, where can I position you? That those that are suffering, and they are believing in you, if they touch, if they pass, things will change. This prayer and this meditation is the one that motivated and brought the revelation of a walk through altar. One who come think, position, and grow their hope 
and say, if I touch that sand, if I step on that sand, things change. They will step on the sand. We will hear testimony. Trust me. <laughs> we are going to see mighty, unbelievable testimonies that we have never witnessed in our church before through this walk the road. We pass through that stage. Somebody will say, I'm feeling sick. I've started on the sand. How can I be cleansed? How can I continuously flow in the spirit? We give you a cup, an anointed cup. You go to the tap on your own, a tap, a fountain of anointed water. You take the water, you drink. I want you to see what will happen. I want you to see what you have. We go to the another stage. We go to another stage. We go to another stage, which we have not revealed even on the TV so far. As you finish your path, I pray that the crooked legs will be restored. The eyes that are blind will start to see. As you walk through, as you finish your walk, restoration must happen. The Bible says there were people with leprosy. When they were touched by Jesus, as they were going, <laughs> as they were going, their leprosy was being cleansed. As they were moving, the faith and the belief is in the movement. It is in the action. It is when you touch the grass and say, I'm going now. It is when you touch the soil and say, I'm going to receive my testimony. It is I'm expecting to be holding your project papers. I'm expecting you to be saying, as I touch there, I must receive a phone call on my phone. And I want you to shout hallelujah as the number starts to ring on your phone because you are walking through an anointed path. This is the reason why I anointed with all the grace of all these years, open gates, shifting of level, taking over. I took all that anointing and I said, Lord, I'm picking it on one position. I'm picking it at one area. I'm expecting mighty testimony. Those that will be on a sick bed, those that will be on a deathbed, about to lose their life. As they pass through the walkthrough altar, may their life be restored there and there. This is what I'm expecting. Like what happened to this woman? Everyone was touching the garment of Jesus. But what says on verse 27, when she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his, great, his garment. For she said, <laughs> this is what I wanted to say until Friday. For she said, I want you to meditate in these words until Friday. For she said, if I only may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. The power of the Lord is released in our life the moment we activate a faith belief in our hearts. The woman meditated, thought and planned, concluded and spoke to herself, assigned a position and say, if I touch the game of the garment, my life will not be the same again. Right now you have booked to be with us on the 16th, you are coming. I want you to say to yourself, <laughs> if I pass through. The moment I touch one leaf there, the moment I touch the sand, the moment I touch the floor there, the floor of the blood is finished. Ah, the blockages which are causing poverty are gone. The anti-marriage spirit is broken. You must assign your faith and give your faith a moment and a time and a date and a position. That is how faith works. If I do this, this is the meditation that you are doing in your heart. This is the thinking and the planning and the plotting that you are doing in your heart. This is what you are going to be saying to yourself every day until such a day you give yourself an opportunity to be walking through to the anointed place. I want you to say to yourself, the moment I hold the tumbler of an anointed water and I drink it, whatever disease that is inside me must be flushed out. I want you to see See yourself unto the other world. I want you to see yourself unto the other position. I want you to see yourself a better person. Cleansed out of cancer. Cleansed out of other diseases. Given a breakthrough that is mighty than ever. This is our thinking. This is our plan. This is what we have been waiting for as PhD ministries. 
After the walk through altar, I created a place where wheelchairs, crutches, neck braces will be hanged. As we used to do at church, we're going to be doing that. Remember, this is one by one. You are coming. You are alone. You are in the guest house. You are given you an opportunity. You walk through if you are with your crashes. We expect you to appear at the other side without crashes. That's what we expect you to do. We give you crashes. You get in there. We appear on the other side without crashes. They gave you crashes, the doctors. But we expect you to be restored and to be walking freely. We have seen that before, but this time, it's going to be happening in a mighty way, in a very, very serious way, mighty, mighty way, in a very serious way. And I know that the world may try to come and contradict with the revelation, but you can't fight with the truth and win because a healing is a healing. A testimony cannot be acted. If your skin was like this, and it's now like this. Who will fight the word of the Lord if there is mighty proof like what you're going to be seeing in the coming weeks? Trust me, deliverance, manifestation, restoration, lives are going to be brought back together. What does Jesus say to this woman? What does Jesus say? This woman? Immediately the, the fountain of her blood was dried up, this verse 29, and, and, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him. <laughs> Turned around in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? But the disciples said to him, you see the multitude thronging you and you say, who touched me? Why did I place this altar very near a hall? One may ask, why is your altar very near home. Trust me, you will not be permitted to enter onto the altar unless it is revealed it's your time. Even if you are here, it may take you an hour. It may take you 30 minutes. Some it may take them a minute. Some two minutes. Jesus was being touched by many. But there is a woman who touched him differently. Everyone, because the disciples said, God, how can, how can you say who touched me? Everyone is touching you. But the touch that came from the woman had an assignment. It had a meditation. It had a thinking. It had a planning. There were thoughts behind the touch. There, were, there was a belief behind the touch. I don't want you to get used to the anointing. And feel that you can just walk through. That's different at this moment. This is different at this moment. It's not about just walking through. Uh -uh. It's about walking through at an anointed place. It's about walking through at a place where millions are going to be healed. Whether it's time for pandemic, it's time for what? One can fly from America like what is happening. People are going to fly from America this Friday. And they walk in and go back to America. We have not violated any gathering rule. You are alone. You are walking in. It's not a place where you can say, we are 50 in the altar. No, you walk through alone. Receive your healing alone. Receive your testimony. Of course, we give you ushers that will be helping you here and there such, such that it happens whilst we are also witnessing what God will be doing. The woman had a touch, but the touch was different from any other person. They were all touching Jesus. But this woman touched Jesus differently. This is what I'm expecting to you as a child. You're going to be given an opportunity to walk into the walk of the world. Everyone may walk, but your walk must be different. Your walk must be carrying a destiny. Your walk must be carrying a testimony. Before you finish the path, I want your phone to ring with a message. Your loan has been approved. Your money is there now. Come and get this help. Come and get this. That's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting you to walk through the altar and go say to the doctor and say, Doctor, test me again. And the doctor must be surprised and say, What happened to the affliction that you were carrying many years? And you tell them, I've broken generational cases. I want you to walk into the altar with your old surname, but walk through and then pass the blood of Jesus area and then come back anointed and different from every family member. 
If you are watching me right now, I want to say to you and I want to prophesy to you right now. You are the first millionaire of your family. You are the changer of your generation. People are going to look up to you and say, here is our brother who has been anointed to change our generation. Like what happened to Moses who came back and he was a different Israelite after being anointed by the burning bush. God has a position. He can be placed anywhere. And in this moment and in this season, where God is going to touch his thousands, his millions, is going to be through the walk through altar. I speak with confidence because I know what God has showed me. I speak with confidence because I know what God has showed me. And the testimonies that are going to be thronging and coming and the wonders and the miracles that will be surprising the world. It is through the walk through order. And remember it's for free. Entirely for free. Yes, we're going to be giving tens, but it's for free. If somebody comes to you and says, ah, no, tell them if you doubt, go and see. We are going to be touched in a mighty way. And I want you to be expectant. And I want you to say in your heart, at this juncture, at this position, God will be walking with you in a path. And I tell you, you shall receive a touch that is different from another touch. The Bible says now, verse 32, okay, but verse 31, but it is Apostle said to him, you see the march that are thronging you, and you say, who touched me? Jesus ignored the disciples and said, and you looked around to see her, who had done this. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, daughter, <laughs> daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be, and be healed of your affliction. <laughs> she got the attention and she got the healing. She got the attention and she got the healing. Jesus felt the power coming on. He said, ah, daughter, it is your belief, it is your hope, it is what you are meditating inside that has brought you this touch like this. Your faith has healed you. I'm expecting such a mighty, mighty, mighty touch. This is our season. Wherever you are, if you're a child, if you're a partner, I want you to tell yourself, I want you to tell your neighbor, I want you to tell everyone that you meet and say, this is our season. I've seen hair growing back. I've seen skin being restored. I've seen legs that were not straight being made straight. I've, I've seen people that have been delivered in mighty ways. But I want to say to you, this is our season. God will move in a mighty way that not everyone can expect. It will be mightier than ever. And I tell you, and I want you to believe me, this is our season. This is our season. This is our season in every sense. This is our season in every sense. You see the hand of the Lord. You see how mightily the Spirit will be moving. And if you're having any problem, any challenge, wherever you are, I tell you, this is our season. I introduce you to your walk throughout. May God bless you and thank you for following us. Uh, we are coming back live to you in one minute. God bless you. We, we appreciate God. I see Czech Republic taking 
New Zealand, Russia, United Kingdom, the Tonga Islands, USA, UAE, Namibia, Zambia, South Africa, Botswana, Mozambique, Malawi, Angola, Tanzania, South Korea, China, Ghana, South Korea, very interesting there in Turkey. May God bless you there in Turkey. Um, you yeah, so good followers in Turkey there. Um, may, God, may God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Let me tell you one story that happened in Turkey. I hope you are following me. So one of the times, um, one of the times, I think we were, we were constructing um, Yada, Yada Hotel. Yes, we were constructing Yada Hotel. Um, um, so Mama Gaya, I did send Mama Gaya and, and, and Shamila to, yes, I think it was Shamila to go and buy the, the furniture uh, for Yada Hotel. All our furniture is from Turkey. Um, from here, from for here at the hotel. So when my mama guy arrived in in a, in Turkey, uh, we have got some agencies that are in Turkey who support our ministry as well. Who are children there? Some are from Nigeria. Some are from different countries. They gather in a small cell group there. One of the guys said, ah, let, "Let us take you to um, an island where there are factories which makes good furniture, very very good furniture." So Mama Guy went to, to that island, and um, when she arrived, she saw a very big factory, very big and very massive factory. So as they were walking, uh, somehow they were received by, they saw the owner of the factory, who said, ah, who introduced herself and said, where are you from? Then Mama Guy mentioned and said, I am from Zimbabwe. Then the woman said, I am from Zimbabwe. I said, yes. Then she said, ah, I like Zimbabwe. Um, so Mama Guy said, we ignored that statement because we, we thought uh, it's a statement of a marketer who would say, I, I like Zimbabwe. Said, okay, started to walk looking at the furniture. Then the woman said, do you know why I like Zimbabwe? Then uh, Mama Guy said, why? Said, ah, there's a man of God in Zimbabwe with the name Magaya. So Mama Guy said, is it? Do you know him? You know, she's now trying to, to investigate. Then the woman said, yes, I know him. I found him three years ago. Well, this is a call that she did in 2013. Mama Guy is there in 2016. And the woman said, I'd been barren for 20 years. So I found this man of God, and you prayed for me on the phone. This is a prayer line. And I got my first baby. Now, Mama Guy looked at and said, are you sure? I said, yes. And then Mama Guy said, I am a guy. I am I'm the wife. The woman denied. Totally under said, ah, you can't be the wife. I said, I'm the wife. I said, no, 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 no. You can't be. I said, I'm the wife. Mama guy had to pull the passport. Of course, she carries my same name there. I said, oh, my God. The woman was astonished. And she said, you know what? Every finger that is here will give you a half price. And this is the blessing of the Lord. I only prayed for the woman on the phone. Mama guy, by coincidence, is in a factory and we didn't know how big she was when we prayed for her. And Mama guy was now being held like a princess, like, I don't know, you know. And then Mama guy asked him, said, why were you denying that I'm the wife? And the woman said, mm, you would expect a woman, a, 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 a mother, a, a, a wife of a big prophet to be looking so flamboyant and moving with 15 or 20 bodyguards. In this case, you are only two or three who are also buying on your own. So the woman did not believe what she saw because of that. You know, it is, so when I saw um, um, the followers that they are also from Turkey, I'm expecting that you are watching and I'm saying your story live. May God bless you and I expect you to grow your industry and your factory uh, of furniture. May God bless you for being humble and always helping the ministry. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. A story that happened in Turkey. May God bless you. Now, we, we, I would want you to, to be giving in the, in the field of the Lord, in the kingdom of the Lord, whatever you're watching. And I want to appreciate kingdom drivers that have been uh, helping. Um, I also want to appreciate children that assisted on the trip to Nigeria. May God bless you wherever you are. Your giving, I want you to write on your envelope, it's our season. Just write this in a very simple way, it's our season. I want you to see 
how this season is going to be great to us. It's our season. That's what I want you to write. They're watching us from Ghana, they're watching us from China, they're watching us from South Korea, they're watching us from Tanzania, they're watching us from Malawi, Mozambique, Botswana, South Africa, Zambia, Angola, Namibia, UAE, USA, Tonga Islands. Okay, I see also Brazil is added there, United Kingdom, Russia, New Zealand, Turkey, and Czech Republic. May God bless you wherever you're watching us from. God bless you over the hundreds and hundreds of testimonies that are coming. Uh, God is lovely. God is lovely. God is lovely. God is lovely. And I see some of the testimonies that are coming through. Okay. Okay. Wow. Bring me back. Bring me back. This is a, an interesting one. Man of God, my son could not go to the toilet. This is from Miss Chimotwe. Thank you, Prophet. When, just after I finished praying, then started to go to the toilet. He managed to poo. My God. My God. You know, sometimes you, un you underestimate um, these testimonies because they're not in the situation. But I want you to imagine staying with your child and the child is not even going to the toilet for days. Is it for weeks or what? And then just after the prayer, instantly uh, things just start to happen. Um, we want to appreciate God. That's what you're expecting. I want you to write on your offering their, ma their main testimonies. We'll be reading their many, many testimonies. But I want you to write on your, on your offering, uh, I want you to write a simple statement and say, it's our season. It is our season. Whether I like it or not, testimonies are going to be flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing because it's our season. There is no way that we can avoid a season. When a season has come, a season has come. And this time, it's our season. So we're going to be flowing in testimonies. Uh, please add some. We're going to be putting them on, on Facebook. Let the world know. So add some. Add some there so that people will know the testimonies. You may raise your offering. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, through your giving. I thank you, Lord. 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 Through your giving, Lord. Through their giving, Lord. We appreciate you, Lord. It's our seeding. It's our offering. It's our giving. It's our fruits which we are saying it's our season. We are prophesying our season, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Yes, you may use the account that I appear on the screen. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you.
through your giving, Margaret Mushai, we thank the Lord. Tande Kamoyo, we thank the Lord. Through your, your giving, we see your giving. Dokas Gatsi, okay, I've mentioned that one. Uh, Rangwani, we thank you. Be Bezo Mundiwa from Mashingo, God bless you. Amos Mutoma from UK. Amos uh, Mutoma from UK. Uh, it's your season. We see your proof into Monzo there. Mr. Amos, may God um, bless you. Mr. Dube, senior, God bless you. We see you are giving, Mr. Dube, a lovely family there. Um, God bless you. Um, may God increase you. Uh, I want to see the name of this one. Um, it's, it, it's from a company. Um, yeah, it's from a company which has done a transfer. I'm seeing the names of the people. Um, I also see Mugabe family. May God bless you them um, for giving. You have what hundreds that are approving and are giving and um, um Muchu Zuki. May God bless you, Muchu Zuki family. May God increase you. Um which family is this? They are giving their tithe as well. Um May God increase you. Please, please put your name. I would want your name, see your name um, when you do your giving. But I pray for you. And let me say, please, your name. That please, your name. This is just giving uh, your name. Mm -hmm. Right. We appreciate God. Um, may you be increased through your giving, wherever you are giving us from. Um, I would ask you to Twanga um, Magura. Your partnership, we see it. It is important that you always give like that. Wherever you are watching us from, I want you to stand because I want to have a prayer with you. And the prayer is very simple. It's your season. It's your season to fly. It is your season to drive. It is your season to, dr to have your own things. It is your season to have your own properties. It is your season. That's what you're expecting. It is your season. It is your season. It is your season. Um, some are giving through Mukuru. Um, Chimberengwa, Yolanda, may God bless you. We see people that are giving uh, um, through Mukuru. Uh, may God increase you. We receive your we're giving. Uh, may you be increased. Um, let us pray. Um, your London Gulf send you. Okay, let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We worship you, God. We, we, we increase your name. People are, people are giving, Lord, in your kingdom. And they're confessing that it is their season. Father, I thank you for what is coming. And I thank you for making this season greater for us. For opening doors for us, Lord. For giving us a better life. A better feeling. A better setup, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. It is well. I speak grace of all time. Be covered. Be anointed. May the grace of the living God be with you in Jesus' mighty name. Those that are in mentorship class, we meet at 7 p.m. exactly. And it's a private class, not on other TV, but specific codes that you're going to be given that only gives you access. What you say on mentorship class is deeper than what can be said on live. So let's meet at 7 o'clock. Those that are in mentorship class. But today we are using Facebook. Today we are using Facebook. Next time we'll be advancing Zoom and all those things. God bless you.